Okay, you have a question? Say. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In one of your sohbets, you said the love of dunya and the love of ahiret cannot exist in the same heart. But it's really hard to say that we don't love our families or children. They belong to dunya. So does it mean we don't have the love of ahiret? Yeah, misunderstanding that. What is your understanding of dunya? And what is your understanding of ahirat? No. Dunya is anything that distracts you from Allah. That is your dunya. You're studying Arabic. You're studying Quran. But you're studying Quran, and you're studying Arabic, you're studying religion, so that you have a high position so that people will clap and applaud you is not for the sake of Allah that is your dunya anything that brings you out from remembering your Lord and following your Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's commands that is your dunya now that ayat is saying these are the things because people Majority, these are the things that they really value. What do they value? Their children, their possessions, correct? Their honor. And these things is what makes their world, correct or no? It makes their dunya. If you don't have that, you don't have a world. And so many, when they have this, they forget about Allah. There's only very few that when they have, they're going to use that in the way of Allah. Now when those ones, your children, your families, they are not stopping you in the way of Allah. They are encouraging you in the way of Allah. They are re reminding you of the way of Allah. That's not a dunya that time is part of your remembrance but if they pull you away they're not they're pulling you away from Allah what do you do I'm saying you hate them no I'm saying you go out and you do wrong no they have their rights on you they're still your family fulfill those obligations you have to help them you help them are they stopping you in the way of Allah? There are some that because you're accepting the way of Haq, accepting this way, accepting Shaf and his way of Islam, you may have people around you that don't like it. They oppose. I'm not talking even of the non-Muslims. So many Muslims, you know, you are here. So how many of your friends are accepting this way? How many majority of your parents are not accepting this way too? Now, are you going to be with them and pretend as if there is nothing wrong there? Because you love them so much, they will pull you to the Jahannam. That's all. Who are you trying to be friends with? Who is, what is the relationship that you're trying to build that you're in Tariqat? Your friends? So many, I'm seeing that. I'm seeing during Shaf and his time, I'm seeing now. They have bad relationship with their parents, bad relationship with their brothers and sisters, bad relationship with their friends. They have found tariqat. Suddenly, all these people, they turn around to them magically. They start to become very friendly with them, start to offer them the dunya. Now they're caught. Subhanallah. Uh, do I go with my family or do I go with Allah? I don't know. You're not understanding nothing then. So many is happening that way. They're not thinking maybe it's a test. And so what happens? You become friendly with them. You're going to find your way again? Never. You're going to be thrown together with them in their Jahannam. You maintain this way and you say, come, be in this way. No, they're saying, for you to be friends with us, for you to give me uh, for me to give you everything that you're asking for, you have to leave that way. It is up to you. You want to leave, you leave. I'm not stopping you. 
Wallahi, I'm not stopping you. You want to go, you go. But that is how the shaitan, that is how the ego is going to trick you. You have to know this. So what are you going to do now? Be in this way properly. What kind of relationship? Huh? You're coming here to mend relationship with who? With your father? With your mother? With my mother? With my father? With my brothers? With my sisters? I'm here in Tariqat following a shaykh to fix my relationship with Allah. That is the only reason why I'm here. So what kind of relationship you want? Are you fixing your relationship with Allah now? Or are you looking at every other relationship except for your relationship with Allah? How certain are you? How certain are you? How confident are you? That your relationship, you are in safety. Any one of you. Speak. So we are not. We are still building that relationship. Some of us still not understanding what is relationship, what is tariqat, what is relationship with Allah. Still not understanding. Still not understanding who is Allah. Allah is supposed to give me anything I ask. Why is he making me to suffer? You're still committing disobedience. I'm the one who says shirk, 24 hours. So now, you love Allah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying to Hazrat Jibrail alayhi salam, They love the Prophet, they love me, then command the whole of creation that they must love that one. They must love. You love Allah and the Prophet, everything in creation must love you. They don't love you, they don't love Allah. Allah does not love them. I understand it. Those ones that are around you, they're making you to remember Allah. They're making you to appreciate Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To make you to question yourself. Be with them. They're not going to pull you away. They're actually going to help you in the way of Allah. That time it doesn't matter if it's your friends or your families. But you have good relationship with your friends and your families. But always you're sitting and you're thinking, I spent five, ten minutes, one day with them. They're not even mentioning Allah. They're not mentioning Holy Prophet. You can have the best of times. If your heart is beating with the remembrance of Allah, you're going to find that association cursed. You're going to find that association empty. Ha ha, he he ha ha, for a while, and then after that it gets very dirty. Because there's no mention of Allah and His Prophet. Inshallah, may we have and keep this love to our Shaykh. And the love, it is obedience. The love, it is obedience. The love, it is a sacrifice. The love, it is a step in your ego. The love, it is discipline. The love is looking at that one that you love and being very afraid that that one is going to be upset with you. Yes, you're going to be very afraid. Yes, when you're in love, you're going to be filled with fear. Are you like that? You are going to be filled with anxiety. You are just going to say, are you pleased with me? And you're going to run. Inshallah. May we keep this. We remember this. We are weak. Me and you. We cannot carry this. But we must remember. We must remind each other. Assalamu alaikum. Say. <laughs>